17 years of full-time learning in base medrash and kolel, and recognized with a talent for reaching out and touching the hearts of others, Rabbi Israel Sitzer was approached by his rabbeim to turn his attention to the all-important area of Kirov Rechoki. Wanting to make as significant an impact on as large a Jewish population as possible, Rabbi Sitzer set out to determine which city had the greatest opportunity. After an exhausted search, which led him to more than 12 cities across North America, Rabbi Sitzer determined that North Thornhill, Richmond Hill, presented the greatest potential. Rabbi Sitzer himself, a native Torontonian, together with his family, relocated from Israel in November 1999 to begin work on this burgeoning community. Since then, more than 13,000 new homes have been built in this area, and young Jewish families, numbering in the thousands, have moved in. Thank God uh, to Rabbi Sitzer and the JCLL, my family are now fully Shomer Torah and Mitzvahs, and uh, in Hashem, we'll be sending my daughter to uh, Eitz Chaim this coming September. About two years ago, uh, through his encouragement and support, my uh, beautiful wife gave me two weeks off to go and learn in uh, Orsa Meir in Monsi. And this was, of course, uh, because of Rapsitz's connections there. In Thornhill Woods, it, you don't have to be there for long to see the great work that the JCLL and Rabbi Sitzer and Rebetzin Sitzer and their family are doing. Uh, I have, in the short span of time I've been in the neighborhood, uh, uh, seen uh, people start coming to weekday davening even on a regular basis. I've participated in a mass community kashering of, of uh, a couple's kitchen as they decided they would begin become uh, Shomrei Kashrut. I've seen couples who had never been Shomrei Shabbat before, uh, who uh, now are Shomrei Shabbat, all in the space of time that I've been there, about five months. Rabbi Sitzer and I learn in a chabrusa every Wednesday night. Uh, in fact, my learning is now stronger and better than it was when I lived at Bathurst Negleton. Uh, so the JCLL really uh, uh, does allow uh, uh, people in the community to have it all. It engages in Kiru, there are people at all stages of their Yiddishkeit, and uh, even someone like me, who's been at it for a long time, has the ability to grow in his learning and grow in his Yiddishkeit. I'm uh, constantly growing in my Yiddish guide. I'm trying to. Uh, I've been trained to be a Gabai Sheni at the shul and uh, how to run the shul. The methodology of the JCLL in its outreach efforts is based on the instructions of today's leading Torah authorities. We must distinguish between compromises on the one hand, which is absolutely forbidden, and gradualism on the other, which is unavoidable. Becoming observant requires drastic changes in a person's life and must be accomplished step by step. There is no rush and no pressure, and each can progress at their comfortable pace, but there is no mistaking that the goal of the JCLL is full and complete observance of the Torah. Running events such as a magic show, a Hanukkah carnival, or a Lugba Omer bonfire are extremely well attended and enjoyed. But what seems like a simple community event is indeed a very powerful means of furthering a family's connection to Yiddishkeit and breaking down false preconceived notions. It is even more effective because the outreach is sincere. People feel they matter and there is a true concern for their physical and spiritual well-being. This atmosphere encourages people to come back for more and inspires them to bring along their friends. The JCLL earns people's trust and spawns an interest to question, to learn, and to grow. It's a very welcoming place, especially Rabbi Sitzer is always there to greet the newcomers. And it doesn't matter if you're an experienced dovener or new to dovening, if you know Hebrew or don't know Hebrew, they're there to help you understand, learn, and participate in a very active and friendly manner. It's a fun place to be. Baruch Hashem, I went to Or Sameach in Yerushalayim. He supported me both emotionally and financially. The JCLL has made a significant impact in a short time. Well over 2,000 families over the last nine years have received a Jewish book, a tape, a CD, or challah and wine as their Shabbos starter. The JCLL has delivered thousands of mishloch manas to the sick, elderly, and the alone on Purim as well as welcome packages to new families moving into the neighborhood. 
A Devar Torah, a newsletter is emailed weekly to hundreds of families in Thornhill Woods, and the list grows every day. Families with newborn babies are served to their homes hot, freshly cooked dinner for one week directly to their homes, and for a cesarean birth, two weeks. Yeah, very grateful and fortunate that we uh, got introduced to Rabbi Sitzer and, and the community. And um, so far, the, the experience and the journey that we've been going on has been phenomenal. The shul's been very supportive of us and uh, providing us with lots of care and support. And recently, having had a uh, newborn in our family, was we were overwhelmed with the amount of support that the community came together and, and gave us. And um, feel very fortunate to be part of the community and uh, feel that the community and JCLA is servicing a, an important role within the Thornhill Woods area in providing the, the spirituality that many of us need today as well as the community to grow and grow as a family and a community more towards Yiddishka. We were searching for a community to belong to and we're very happy and proud to call the JCL, JCLL our home um, and uh, it's, it's fantastic to see how the community has grown and strengthened and look forward to its continued, continued strength and continued growth. We liked Thornhill Woods and found out that there was an Orthodox school, the JCLL. So we bought a house there and moved in, met the rabbi, and uh, were very pleased, but found out that there was no Arab. So that was a bit of a surprise. We, uh, being, being observant, we don't carry on Shabbat, so we wouldn't be able to... Uh, push a stroller or carry uh, without an Arab. So within the two short years that we've been in the area, uh, Rabbi Sitzer got uh, an Arab committee together and made it happen and built the Arab in, in such a short time, which is incredible. It was such a, like an amazing feeling to walk to shul the first Shabbat with our whole family. You know, in some areas you take for granted what there is, but we really appreciated it. Last October, after two years of planning, the Thornhill Woods Arab was completed, encompassing the entire Thornhill Woods neighborhood, an area that encompasses nearly 7,000 homes. All of these programs and more make a significant contribution in stemming the tide of mass assimilation, indifference, and spiritual obliteration of tens of thousands of Jews in our own city. As the JCLL nears its 10th anniversary year, it is now poised to reach more families than ever before and more effectively. The JCLL has purchased a five-acre parcel of land in Thornhill Woods and has developed a master site plan. The area is currently lacking a Torah-based school for unaffiliated families, and Phase 1 of the master plan includes not only a shul and nursery, but a school for those families. I've met many, many business people over my career, and I can tell you without any question, Rabbi Sitzer is a true leader in all respects of the word. Uh, he's a clear thinker, a real visionary, uh, he's tenacious, he sticks to his, his, uh, his vision, and this is a tremendous leading force that helps bring people together, that helps motivate people. What he's doing in, Thorn in the Thornhill Woods community and, uh, and in Richmond Hill uh, to bring Torah to the, to the community, to help people to understand, to overcome their fears, to step into the world of Torah, to grow in Yiddishkeit and in knowledge, um, and the way he does it in such a gentle, loving way has helped me personally and I've seen has helped many, many other people as well. This is only our beginning. Your partnership is counted on as we continue to make an even stronger, positive impact on a young and too numerous detached population. So we love JCLL. We've been going there for a long time. We're going to keep going there for a long time until it gets bigger and better. <laughs>